Breaking weather alert. The hail this afternoon caused a lot of damage in neighborhoods all across Colorado Springs, Fountain and Security Whitefield. Now many of you also shared your pictures of broken windows, dents in cars and even some hail larger than the size of baseballs. 11 News reporter Jared Dean joins me now in studio. Jared, you actually spoke with a man who was injured by a large piece of hail. Yeah, Grace, the man I spoke with earlier, Scott Hastings, says he was trying to move his car into the garage when he was hit by the hail. He says that will heal quickly, but the damage to his car and his home will take much longer. Scott Hastings has lived in his home in Colorado Springs since 2008. He says this is the largest hail he's ever seen. During Saturday's storm, Hastings was injured, trying to move one of his cars inside the garage. It actually cut up my arm. I can feel it hit my head and my hat and it, it, it didn't knock me out, but I knew it was hurt. Hastings tells me now he has to get his cars repaired so he and his wife can get to work. I mean, it's our vehicles, our only way of transport and with the windows being busted completely out the back, it, it's kind of scary, you know, how are we going to get where we're going to go. This comes just less than 24 hours after another southern Colorado town got hit by massive hail. Uh, we had golf ball size hail and it just totally destroyed a bunch of cars up and down this street, broke their windows out, dented them really bad. There was about three inches on the road out there, looked like snow. Police tell me that some parts of Cripple Creek lost communication and CenturyLink has been working to repair the downed phone lines. Residents in the town and the surrounding areas say they were shocked by the amount of damage that was done by the hailstorms Friday as people rushed inside for shelter. They were standing under the awnings we had, basically, and then coming in through the doors. Yeah, there was kind of a panic, everybody trying to get in because it happened really quick. Police in Cripple Creek say they've been in contact with insurance to try and get assessments for the damaged cars and broken windows in City Hall in Cripple Creek. Now, Hastings tells me that he will be talking with insurance to see the extent of the damage on both his vehicles and his house. But for now, his truck is the only way he can get around. Grace, back to you. A shocking story. Thank you so much for that, Jared.